China appears to be intensifying its crackdown on corruption. New research indicates the problem is widespread and a recent high-profile sacking suggests the rot reaches the top of the country's leadership. His focus on fighting corruption has been central in his rise to power. But recent events suggest China's president may be losing the battle. General Li Shengfu was axed without explanation. Though speculation mounts, the former defence minister was taking kickbacks. So if these are top-level people, people who are close to Xi, people who Xi presumably trusts uh, to put in positions of authority, and they are getting in on the corruption, that would suggest a real limit to the ability of Xi to tap down the corruption. New research shows the scale of corruption in the country. A paper published in the journal Management Science estimates a significant number of Chinese government officials collect cash from so-called unofficial avenues. The report authors found the more senior the official, the more likely they are to take under the table payments. And those with power are taking more cash. The average corrupt low-level civil servant takes 83% of their salary in bribes, while the average corrupt government department head collects an extra 424%. If we see persistent corruption, despite efforts to crack down, it means that there is some reasonable belief among people who are engaging in corrupt practices that they can get away with it. Hundreds of high-ranking officials and more than one million lower-level government workers have been arrested since 2013. There were an estimated 596,000 corruption cases involving CCP officials last year alone. Analysts suggest many of those charges are politically motivated. While recent high-profile corruption cases in China's healthcare system, construction industry and professional sports leagues have increased public confidence in authorities. Such kind of negative perception actually has decreased a lot because of Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign. This is a problem not unique to China, though the scale of the issue and the ferocity of the authorities' response arguably is. The battle against corruption is one the president will be waging for a long time yet. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.